back everyone. The subject of today's video is going to be this gun here, the uh, IO Polish Help Up, the little AK pistol. I'm not really going to do a review, but I'm going to uh, show you what's been going on with the gun since I bought it. A lot of you guys follow my Facebook page, I've, I've seen the uh, updates whether or not I was deciding if I was going to make this video or not, or just wait until I got um, enough footage and enough, uh, enough experience with the replacement gun to this, because this gun's going to be getting sent off. It's been having some issues reliability wise, but I decided that I know a lot of you guys are debating purchasing this gun for yourself, so I wanted to go ahead and get this video out now, so that way you have this information, and then you can make that decision on your on your own armed with this information. Um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna roll in some uh, shooting footage that I've taken, I took this video, I believe about a week ago, so end of February, beginning of March, and um, the gun's been having some problems, and I wanted to document it with a couple different types of ammo, different magazines, things like that. So anyway, up next I'm going to show you the, the shooting footage from this, this gun and uh, so you can see the exact malfunctions for yourself and I'll come back at the end of the video. That was a failure to extract. Once again it's locking back. Take a look there what we're getting. Looks like the bolt carrier didn't come all the way far enough back on that one. Chamber it. Same malfunction we just had. Bolt carry didn't come far enough back. Same thing, this is with uh, Wolf 124 grain, uh, military classic ammo. We're gonna go ahead and switch the ammo and see if we have the same malfunctions going on. You know, saw the malfunctions we were just having with that Wolf ammo. Went ahead and switched it out. We're gonna go ahead and load up the uh, trusty old Golden Tiger ammo. See if that makes a difference here. See what do we get. we just had. Didn't go all the way into battery. A correction. That was a uh, failure to extract. Try it again. Same issue there. In fact, we actually got a little bit of a double feed. Take a look at it. As you guys can see in the barrel. In the uh, chamber, rather. Definitely having some issues. So we're going to go ahead and stop here. Rip this gun apart and see if we can figure out what's going on. As you just saw there, the gun is not running reliably at all. I think I may have been able to get a three shot string off at most at any time while firing this gun without having a malfunction. And I'm gonna show you why. Um, there's two possibilities, well obviously there's more than two possibilities, but the two I think are most likely is that this uh, gas block here is not giving, up, giving the, uh, the gun enough gas and or the um, bolt carrier is rubbing the front trunnion here, which I'll show you here real quick. Yeah. Now go ahead and retract the bolt slowly and just uh, kind of let it sit. Now ordinarily, especially on new AKs, you'll see a lot of times the uh, carrier get kind of hung up on the hammer, which really isn't a big deal. Generally that's going to get broken in and not be an issue. But as you see here, I don't know if you guys can actually see it when you look down in there, but it's actually not getting hung up on the carrier, or, or correction, on the hammer. What it's getting hung up on is the front trunnion here. The carrier, you can see the wear marks right there. That's where it's getting hung up. So when that gun, when the round is firing, sometimes it's not getting enough gas to overcome the resistance. You can see it's getting tight right here. And again, this is not the hammer. The hammer is a little bit further back. So to overcome that, you're actually scraping right there on the top of the carrier. Now again, with an AK, sometimes that's just fine. It does overcome it. But um, for whatever reason, it's not getting enough gas to overcome that friction. Whether or not, whether or not something's out of spec up here, or something's out of spec up here, I can't say for sure, but it's more likely than not one of those two things. So anyway, this gun's gonna be going back to IO for repair or replacement, whichever one they, they choose. But um, when I get it back and I get some rounds through it, I'll go ahead and post an update video of this and show you guys how it's running. But anyway, as always guys, if you have any questions about this gun, any other guns I review here, any gear I review, ammo, things like that, Feel free to post below in the comments section, but you can also post over at my Facebook page where I uh, generally do a lot more 
current updates because it's a lot easier for me to post a Facebook post than it is for me to shoot a whole shoot and edit a whole other video. So anyway, you can uh, contact me through either one of those sources with any questions, comments that you have. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.